So the next stage here is we're going to build a cabinet. It comes up here and it goes to roughly where the back door is at. And it's going to have an aluminum fascia on it. So we'll have to make like a steel skeleton for like little slide outs. On this hand, I want to put a swing out cooker um, so that you can have like a gas stove that you can swing out out of here. I don't want uh, any cooking stuff on the opposite side because that's where you fill for the gas and all that is and I don't want to have, you know, flames in the fuel tank. Um, so I want to have the swing out, a sink, some pull out drawers. Uh, we'll face it with some aluminum, try and make it look pretty cool. Uh, and maybe, you know, some kind of a wooden butcher top or a Formica top on it. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. And I need to start doing the structure on that because what I kind of want to do is I need to get some bracing in the back of this and tie it all in to try and stop this wheel tub from oil canning. So what I'm looking at here is these uh, original seat mounts, which I think would be a fantastic mount for the uh, cabinet and it would bring it right to about where this rust hole's at and it wouldn't get in the way of opening this door too much so I think that would be a great start um, so if we use this set of holes here then this cabinet it's around 15 inches 18 inches so I just folded up this little channel and it's uh, got the three holes in it to bolt down to the uh, original seat bracket mounts. The only problem is it's for the wrong side. But I can use it for the when it goes on that side. cooker and that's going to sit on a slide it's going to pull out here like that and we'll make a little store in here you should be able to get about six of these little tanks in here you can get two in there and I can get four in there and then we'll put a slide thing and uh, if it's raining you can pull a cooktop up put it on the shelf cook inside if it's nice, slide it out here, and that way you're not smelling the car. So I'm looking at this and I want the cabinet, I guess is the word, about 32 inches tall and unfortunately that will start coming back out this way. So it's going to come up about 30 inches and then I'll just have a slight crop on this end just to clear the hatch. Um, and that'll work out fine because there's going to be a top and everything on here and we'll just make it fit. Alright, so this is where we're at so far. We've got a tab here on the wheel tub, a sheet metal screw up in here, and uh, we've got this tacked together for now. And it has to come up an angle so that uh, when you close the hatch, you know, we still got plenty of room. We still got a couple inches, but uh, I'm trying to make it so I can get every single inch of available space. All right, so I got this rust hole where the seat belt was, and I need to get it fixed so that I can finish putting this uh, cabinet together. So that'll be my next step. 
All right, so we got this little patch done. I'm not welding it solid because of all of the uh, rubberized undercoating on the inside of this wheel tub. If I weld it solid, I'm gonna set fire to everything under here. So we're gonna just put that in enough to, you know, make it strong, make it structural again, and then we'll seam seal it. So now what we're gonna do is put a mounting tab on here for the uh, cabinet. My little rust hole patched, I've got it seam sealed. I've got my tab in here to mount this and uh, I've got this piece welded in so now we can start doing our upright. Alright so we're starting to get the gist of the frame in. You know, it's pretty sad when you get excited for finding a good magic marker. So I got to cut out in the shelf that area there in the wheel tub. So what I'm doing is I'm using the laser to show me uh, what part of the shelf I got to cut away. So I'll make a paper template that looks like that. One down, want three to go? Okay, so we're back on this thing, and I've been sick now for two and a half weeks with pneumonia, and I have no clue where I left off with where I'm filming. So, this is the inside uh, cabinet that I'm working on here, and uh, I'm gonna go down the road in a minute and share off some more sheet metal. It's just over the capacity of my share, which is the way it goes. So, I'm gonna make the shelves. 
time and then we're going to line this with i haven't decided yet maybe an aluminum face or a wood face i'll make my mind up as i get there but it'll get a wooden top on it at least anyway uh, and i've got the spare tire mount done and i can't remember where i filmed and what i haven't filmed so if it's uh repeating myself it is what it is all right so there's the spare tire mount and uh I haven't completely welded it up because I need to get the uh, shelf mount in the back of it to kind of stiffen it up before I weld it solid. Alright, so I'm halfway through this frame here and I can't put this next shelf in because I need the sink because I'm not sure how far down the sink and everything goes so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have like a cavity on this side and then another shelf across here so I've got the wooden top which is a uh, inch and a quarter thick top that's gonna go on here so I'm gonna work on notching that in for now and then hopefully by the time I get that done I have the sink this is going to be kind of a fun, fun thing to notch in because you can see that that where it goes in is going to taper so it's going to taper this way it's going to taper that way it's going to be angled cut that way and angled cut that way so it's going to be a little fun little notching project anyway so thankfully this is about four inches wider and anyway there'll be a little sink that sits about here and then uh, this part in here will fill that and up there with a little bit of spray foam and then the upholsterer can come around here and cover this with headliner material and uh, it'll be pretty nice I think in the end. So after a bunch of trimming and sanding, it's finally in, and I've got to cut back to this line here, so it'll be this wide here, and then there'll be a sink here, and then this will be like a little dinner table area for your laptop, whatever, probably end up inadvertently getting used for a step. So next I'll uh, cut the aluminum face and start making all the openings for the be an opening here for a door, two up here, two here, two on the bottom. And then on the bottom here there's nothing because they are actually open that direction and that direction. And then there'll be little doors on the end so that you can access it just pretty much from any direction you want.
All right, so we got the face of it in and finally fitted. There was a little bit of a notch issue right down there where the seat bracket was. So now what I'll do is I'll start marking it from the back where all the drawer faces go, and then we'll cut it open for all the doors, and and then we'll make the end, which will have a bend in it, and then there'll be two drawers. Well, actually, one will be a drawer, one will be a door on there. Alright, so this is going to kind of screw with the sequence of building this. So I'm like 90% through this cabinet in the back and I'm waiting on getting some stuff to wrap it up and it's going to be a week or so. So, well, dude's going to earn a paycheck, right? So I'm going to swap and go to this front bumper and uh, see if I can get this bumper wrapped up while I'm waiting for the other stuff to show up.